everybody. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. We're going to take a quick walk through the garden between rain showers today because I wanted to show you how much has grown in just a week's time and some of it is actually a little less than a week um, but a lot has really grown and so I just wanted to share that with you today. So let's go take a walk and hopefully we'll stay dry. So first off is our container bed area and uh, just look how, how lush the carrots have gotten, tall the onions have gotten, thick the lettuce has gotten, my collards have really come through, it's gotten really, really, really uh, lush and big. I'm going to turn you around here. The weeds have gotten really tall too. We haven't had time to uh, mow the grass and stuff as landscaping companies. We have uh, tall grass and weeds that are really doing great. Here is a forest of potatoes. These guys have really, really come up in the last week. Um, see the one here, barely above the rim. That was uh, what it looked like Monday. And then uh, today, this is what it looks like. We have a forest full of um, potatoes. And then my greens, my Napa cabbage is bolting. Eh. And then my radishes, wow, they're getting huge. Alright, so in our main garden area, I've got my rose bed cleaned up. I have some calendula planted. I'll plant some more flowers as my seedlings grow. My roses are starting to come back. Exciting, exciting. But look at my grapes. These are three-year-old grapes. And I'm so excited because I actually have little grape clusters growing on them. So exciting! And like I said, my roses are really coming back. Doing really, really good. My medicinal herbs are really bouncing back. These are all my perennial medicinal herbs in here. And so they're doing really, really, really good. I just planted some mammoth marigolds back there that I transplanted. My chives are starting to go to flower. And those are really, really pretty. But yeah, they're doing really, really good. Look at all this growth. My fig trees, these are two year old fig trees. They are really starting to, to grow, doing really good. I have my loofah gourds planted back there. Hopefully they'll take off, we'll see. This is my TNZ, look at how big that is. It's um, almost chest high and I'm five foot six. <clears throat> and then these are the greens that I have planted in my flower bed. My bachelor buttons are starting to get their flower heads on them. And my bee balm, not quite as high as the tansy, but almost. And then this is my three sisters method um, of my corn and the beans. And then I have pumpkin planted right there. These are leeks and onions from last year. I'm trying to go quickly because it is raining. <laughs> Okay, I just transplanted uh, Chinese long noodle beans here with some petunias. And um, I have an herb in here with it too, but I can't remember what it is offhand. Anyways, there's that. Uh, these are butternut squashes with cilantro planted in here. They're doing really good. These are all my seed plants, seed flats. These are all from winter sown containers that I transplanted into flats. So they're doing really, really good. These are going to be for sale at the farmer's market coming up. So yeah, that's all my seed flats. Lots of stuff growing, growing, growing like crazy. My peas are really just really growing strong which is awesome because I've never really grown peas successfully. These guys are just doing awesome. So this is my kale and my lettuces here. They're not growing as quickly but that's okay. Some things don't grow as quick. And then my extra winter sown jugs that um, I have not transplanted yet. Um, some are still growing because they're not quite there yet but they're doing really good. My beans and my calendula and my garlic that I planted last fall and flax all growing really well. 
Um, this is kale and chamomile here. I just opened these up because they needed to start breathing a little bit. But the, I'm really excited about these jugs right here. Um, these are different types of tomatoes and um, my tomatoes weren't doing very well because we've had really cold weather. Um, as most people in my zone, our weather has been just really up and down, up and down. So tomatoes and peppers have been very difficult to grow. Um, my aromas um, germinated pretty well. Um, they came about two to three weeks ago. They actually sprouted. Uh, they're growing really slow though. Um, but, uh, and I have a few beef steaks. But other than that, my other varieties of tomatoes were not germinating at all. So um, I went ahead and I just uh, used the same jugs, used the same soil, and I just put more fresh seed on top and I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So we got um, seeds there, seeds there, seedlings there, see all those seedlings. Let's see, do I have any? Yep, I have some there. I got some there. So they're doing really, really good. Let's see. Don't have any in there yet. I was hoping that would come back, but that hasn't yet. But, uh, yeah, so I reseeded all those. Um, and then I have a customer asked for some uh, plants that I didn't have growing yet, so I got him some jugs started there. Um, but I'm really, really excited. I'll take you some to and show you a couple other jugs real quick <clears throat> that started growing this week. I had to reseed them as well because uh, they're a warm weather crop and uh, the seeds don't do in good in cold weather. So um, my chicory, I had to regrow because something had eaten it and it's looking good, it's growing great. My dill is finally coming back. Let's see, what else do I got going on here? I got some more fennel because it didn't do too well, so I planted more of that. Um, my basils, I reseeded all my basils because they weren't doing well. Look at all those seeds. They're seedlings, not seeds. Whoops, sorry. Look at all those seedlings. So I'm really, really excited. Um, chives and then fenugreek. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, I learned um, last year that sometimes um, it takes a while for seeds to germinate when they're cool or warmer weather crops. Other times you have to just reseed the jugs. And so that's what I did. And uh, they're doing beautifully. Oh, it stopped raining again. The sun's back out. Yay. I'm going to take you in the greenhouse real quick and I'll show you what the growth is going on in the greenhouse. Again, the greenhouse I'm only using for business jugs and things like that because I need uh, seedlings that are a bit larger in order to sell to the public. But I still wanted to show you the kind of growth that's going on in there. Okay, so this is my greenhouse. It's a lot emptier than it was a little bit ago because we've been moving everything outside to get ready for the farmer's market. But in here I have my peppers. I have my peppers still because uh, they need a really warm environment to get nice and big. So these are all peppers in here. I still got some squashes in here that I'm trying to get germinated for the um, farmer's market so they're in here. I have um, cucumbers and some watermelon there. I think I like what's turning out in my jugs a lot better than these trays though, just to be honest with you guys. So, And then I have more peppers and stuff in here. Like I said, in here is better for them right now. Look at those beautiful peppers. Because of the way that our weather has been, trying to get peppers to grow um, has not been good. My cayenne still has not germinated. I um, replanted that. And these are my tomatoes for Baker's Creek that I'm supposed to be growing um, as part of a, um, oh, what do you call it? This is our first year uh, to try to be a seed grower for Baker's Creek. So this is the crop they sent us to grow. Um, it's a orange peach tomato. This is the biggest tomato seedling I have so far. Um, it came out of these jugs. Um, I reseeded these for the same reason. I had problems with the germination, but now look, I got lots of seeds going on in there. Lots of seedlings. And I'm not worried, like this one, you see a bunch of them together. 
and I have a couple other that are like that. Right now, I don't care. I just need to get them going because I'm already uh, about two weeks behind. i to take you back outside. It's a little warm in here. I'm about two weeks behind um, with uh, peppers and tomatoes and things because our climate's been so off. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, um, you do what you got to do in order to take care of business. And uh, winter sowing works great when the weather does what the weather's supposed to do. Um, but the weather's been so off. As a lot of people can attest to, our spring has been really up and down, really cold. Uh, we had a freak frost in May, which isn't too unusual, but um, the, the weather's just been so wacky that trying to get some things to grow, like the tomatoes and the peppers and eggplants and things that need warmer temperatures, has been very difficult. So uh, we've made do. We've reseeded what we had to do. But overall, um, like I said, within just this last week, things have just really, really, really taken off. And I just wanted to share that with you. I mean, look how tall these uh, uh, garlics have gotten. Just amazing in a week's time. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you, that um, even though this year hasn't been off to a great start, really, gardening-wise, so much can happen in just a little bit of time. So I just thank you again for watching, and I hope that wherever you are, you are blessed today and every day. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Bye.